Hello my lovelies, today is another shaving video and today we are going to be using one of my all-time favorites is La Toja. So and because this needs a bit of blooming I will take it out, cut a bit off. Let's see, let's cut a slither off. Okay, there's my slither. Oh, I do like this scent a lot. And I'm going to put it in the top of my shave bowl today. Let's press it down. Let's see if I can do press. This is a triple mill, milled soap. So it is soft-ish. You can press it down, but it is quite hard. To do so to keep it in place so I'm trying to really spread this out a bit so that I can load it properly okay and now I'm going to add from my five mils teaspoon I'm going to add half a teaspoon in straight away and whilst I'm talking to you let that bloom a bit so here we can you see that so I have water in here. I'm just shaking it so it actually goes over the soap. And let's let it bloom for a little bit there. Um, right, so La Toja. It is a very clean scent. It is triple milled. It lathers really well and has a really nice post feel. And what is the brush I'm going to be using? I'm going to be using my Evil Zebra, a yucky brush. And I think this is a 24 mil. I'll check, it's not written on it. For some reason they didn't write it at the bottom like they normally do. But I think it's a 24 synthetic. Um, I am going to be using my Spanish razor, which is always a treat for me. This is my Sejos Zeppelin version 2. Okay, and it has, as you know, it has, well, let's say it has a few differences. It has no blade overhang once you put the blade in, and it has on one side a scallop comb, which is a little bit the blade gap is larger on this side than it is on the normal side also it is I don't know if you can see that if I do it like this then you can see both sides are curved as well so it's actually a three-in-one razor because it has a slant if you like it's not a slant it's a curve but works the same way and it has two blade gaps one on each side it is, has really nice heavy weight and it works fantastic. So I'm going to put in my Gillette Ruby for the second time. As in that's my second use. I better mark it off now before I forget. So that's going to be my second use on the Gillette Ruby. Okay, and why am I using this? Because the last time I used the Gillette Ruby, I put it into a really mild razor and I wanted to see how it performs in a mid-aggressive razor. I'm saying mid, I can't get it out, it's stuck to the paper. I already last time, yeah, last time I did this I cut my finger remember <laughs> okay here we go I got it out does it actually say it does say Gillette Ruby on it but it's very faint it does say let me see if I can without cutting myself and it's not written on both sides it's only written on one side I've just noticed so very faint you can see it says Gillette Ruby Okay, let's put this to the side. Let's open it up. It's a three piece. Let's 
let's load it. Okay, and you'll be asking me, what is the blade gap? On the small side, it's 0 0.5, and on the scallop side, it's 0 0.7. That's the blade gap. Okay, so no overhang whatsoever. It is, it is actually flat-ish. It hasn't got a big dome, so you can get well underneath your nose for those that have, you know, beards. There we go. I don't know. I'm not waffling again. I'm talking rubbish, aren't I? Anyway, let's get on with it. So first, dipping in my brush and my water next to me. It's cold water. Shaking it out well. Okay, let me step back. Let me get a hold of the bowl. And let's start loading. You see how easy this loads? Very easy indeed. But you do need to bloom it a little bit. Especially if you're going to be doing face lathering. As I said, it's a triple mill. And it's already asking for some more water. So I'm going to add the next half teaspoon in that makes it a full teaspoon now. Oops. Not like me not to make mess, is it? call this a classic Spanish scent. I don't know any other soaps that smell like this. Even the Italian ones smell different. I mean the, the pure, the clean ones, the bases all smell different. Super lather already. Look at this. Look at the peaks in there. Look at this. Super creamy. I'm adding more water. Okay, let's draw up. I think I'm going to add one mil more. I like it really creamy rather more on the sticky side but this soap can take quite a bit of water so don't be too shy I'm sure you can with that small amount of soap which is less than a quarter of teaspoon I am sure you can put two teaspoons of water in Okay, and this is enough, more than enough lather for me. Look at this. Look at this loveliness. Look at this deliciousness. Okay, so I'll leave that to the side. I'm not adding any more water. Let me roll my sleeves back a bit. Here we go, let's get some water onto my face. Okay, as you know, I've only done on Monday a shave because I had to redo that shave. So I'm going to be using the mild side today I'll see. No, maybe. Oh, let's have a go on the zero 07. Let's have a go. Let's be. Let's be a bit adventurous. 
and hope I don't get any cuts or weepers. Okay, here we go. Because I'm so confident in this soap, it's super slick, it's creamy. Tuck my hair out the way as much as I can. Okay. Right, here we go. Let's use the scallop edge. So that's a 0 0.7. Yeah, you can definitely feel the blade. Let's get my earring out the way. Okay, I would say this is maybe not the smoothest blade I've felt. So on a beard, I don't know how that would be. Most probably tuggy. Um, I just want to show you a top view of, you see the curve and how that slant works? Can you see that? Yeah, I think this is best for a milder razor. Um, I think this might be a bit tuggy, I'm not sure. But what I can feel Or maybe a different razor. Once again, wouldn't be a problem in an adjustable razor. Well, that's pretty close. I can feel the difference. Wait, now. Let's go with the smooth, with the small side, the 0 0.5. So I can get a feel. feeling for that. Right, let's use the mild side. Way better. A lot smoother. Still have a blade feel. Still quite a bit of feedback, but way better in performance. So, Gillette Ruby for milder razors works well. And the more aggressive side ones, I'm thinking on a beard, 
you would not be able to pull it off without tugging unless unless the razor unless you have a razor that is very how shall I put this aligns it very tight okay that might be a possibility let's just go once more not that I really need it but just for the evaluation doesn't feel like I've got weepers I'm just going to do the trouble spot here and I'm going to stick with the mild side The soap has great residual, so you will have to wash your face after properly because even though I washed this off with the flannel, I could go over once more. This is super close. But I'm thinking... This razor has quite a close alignment, so tight alignment. Um, so that is my evaluation of the blade. Let me get some fresh water here. Gillette Ruby is not one of my super fabs, however, works well in the right razor in an adjustable definitely and in a milder one or one that has a super close alignment that doesn't leave for any <coughs> i want to use the word wobbles but blades don't wobble they shouldn't anyway um but you know what i mean so if, with no with no allowances whatsoever. So it has to be a super well-made razor for this blade. Might tug on beards. If you have experience with the Gillette Ruby and with whiskers or beard, please put your comments down below how you feel it is. Um, I don't also, as I said, this is now my second use. I also don't know whether it would actually last 10 shaves or not um, if you have more experience than I have please put your comment down below right let me just let that water out let me wipe my face once more I have a problem with my drain today I think I got a bit of soap in my drain as in a chunk of soap and now it's not going through properly okay right so Seijos I'm using aloe first as my post shave okay this is super super close I don't normally like to go quite as close as this in the beginning of the week, if you know what I mean. But it's all right, there's no weepers here. Um, what else am I to say? As you saw, I have still got loads of shaving lava left. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful lava. 
that's a pity to throw all of that away. Oh, maybe I should show you something. Now, don't be grossed out, okay? I'm going to move the camera. Let me just pause. Okay, for those that say I have no idea what I'm doing, look at those. See those whiskers? You see that? Okay. So I hope you weren't super grossed out by that. Let me zoom out again. Oop, that's the wrong way, this way. Okay, so I know that wasn't very pleasant. But, oops, and now my camera's playing up. I shouldn't move it this much. As I say, I don't want it to fall into the sink again. There we go. Let's just, I know it's a bit crooked, but it's not going to be long now. So this is dried. And <laughs> let me get rid of that. Right. So there you see, that's how, how much actually does get cut off by the Seychos Zeppelin and I'm going to use now today an aftershave let me give this a good shake and that's my Boots Freshwood Aftershave Balm super cheap but I love the scent oh yes I do love this scent a lot okay and it comes out rather thick so you only need a little bit I do like the scent a lot. Like a special treat that, even though it's super cheap. So that is my review for today. One of my fa absolute favorite razors, made in Spain. And it's the uh, Se Joseplin version two. And what else is there to say? I've really told you everything else. That's all there is to say to that. Super nice, heavy handle. It's quite a short handle, but you can use it on the legs. I have done so before. So, see you soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below on the Gillette Ruby. Um, I know some don't get on well with it, others do. Tell me what razors you use in combo with the Gillette. That would be really helpful. And how many times you've shaved with it, as in how many shaves you get out of one blade. Is it more than 10? See you soon. Bye-bye.